is going on guys today's video we're going to set up the necrosis it's a super simple setup everything is set up within the compiler and i actually just made a really big update within the compiler and the aim assist so i just posted it down below yeah you guys can pick up and all you guys need to do is simply download the scrim down below in the description click file click open click downloads and then click it right over here okay so when you double click it you click open the script will open up now when it's open up from here the best chronos and scripts and battles are on sale right now this exclusive vip community gets you aim like and vip tier is a monthly payment for updates for all my vip scripts values and spreadsheets lifetime vips are most popular tier that gets you early access to new exclusive scripts one-on-one -on -one help and of course lifetime access as it's a one-time payment we have a full server with tons of positive reviews we got every single game, scripts, values, help, whatever you need. Spots are unlimited, so join fast. Pretty much, guys. Oops, let me turn on my phone. You don't need to. You don't need to do anything. Honestly, guys, you can adjust everything how it is. Now, one thing I would do, I'm actually gonna write it down right here, and I'm gonna re-upload re it. If you're on the PS5, PS5 users set VM speed to. I know it says negative six. But trust me, negative two works really well on PS5 now. So if you're on PS5, you set it to negative two. But over here, you can see what you're supposed to set your VM speed. Now you scroll down, guys. Okay. You can see the button layout that you play on. And you change the button layout right over here. Okay. So tactical, that's what it says right now. So define layout. So I'm going to press it back and I play default. So let me change the default. Okay. Now, going back down, you can keep seeing other things. You can see right stick dead zone, left stick dead zone. I keep it at 20 just in the script, right? I keep it on 20 in the script just so it doesn't get too much aim assist, too insane, and you can't, you can't control aim. Moving down, guys, you can just see some of the values, and it's very simple. You can read it right here and adjust accordingly. I'm going to just show you the things that I think are the most important to adjust uh, because, you know, you don't have to waste too much time. So, What's a very important thing to adjust is your radius. Okay, so you can increase or decrease this, but I wouldn't touch too much. Okay, I'd like to keep it at seven. Your angle as well, which is your speed, you can increase this a little bit, but I kept it at five. All right, so if you want to have a little bit more aim assist, you can increase these two values, or if you think it's too much screen shit, you can decrease them. Now, tracking, I decreased it a lot, but you can also decrease the tracking as well. This is good for right and left tracking. Um, obviously you can increase or decrease depending if you want more aim assist or less aim assist, but I like to keep it like this. Moving down guys, the most other, the other most important part is obviously the NTV call, which a lot of people need to help with. Now, when you scroll all the way down, I said it's a legacy NTV call. And when you scroll all the way down over here, you'll see legacy NTV call and the vertical strike they have it at 26. So if you want to have more recoil control, you can increase this value. If you want to have less vehicle control, you can decrease it. Okay. Now from here, you click programmer. Click this little thing right here. GPC scripts. Let me empty out my slot and then click and drag it onto this end. And as you can see, this is this is it. All right. This is it. So if this tutorial helped you out, man, and you saw the intro clips and how the script works, and you want to grab the script and get help setting it up, you can check out my VIP community. That's all for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one.